Beautiful. Well, welcome everybody to our official Zoom. It's very rare that we do these. Um, we wanted to share this update that we're going to be talking about today with Cheddarsoft. In my opinion, is the biggest release we've had of the software since we started the platform. And obviously we're biased, um, but, but this tool just got a whole lot cooler. For those of you that are using Cheddarsoft, you've already signed in and got an email this morning and saw the updates. We're going to go through three big updates today is what we're going to cover. We're going to show a demo. And for those of you guys that are not subscribers to Chattersoft, um, we've got a 30 day free trial for you at the end of the, the presentation if you guys wanna join and, and play with this for yourself. We wanna get this in your hands. So uh, before we start, I am Gabe Strom here in Colorado, joined by Grant Dunn. Uh, we started this little company uh, probably five or six years ago, providing leads to the OA industry and it's grown. I'm also joined by Taylor Dunn, who's general manager, all things extraordinaire, basically runs um, all the manages all the publishing of the lead list and coordinates all the building out of the software. There's a lot of different hats. So we're going to let Taylor present today. He's he does also does all the buying internally um, and manages that for the OA business. So you, you get to see a lot of very unique perspective, Taylor, that you get to see kind of all aspects of this business. So let's go ahead and uh, if you want to click over to our first slide. All right, guys, listen, we're just going <laughs> to we're going to jump into this. Uh, we want to introduce to you guys Smart Data V2, and um, we're calling this version two because the updates are really significant. And we just want to jump in and show it, share with you guys some of this. Grant or Taylor, do you guys have anything you want to add? I mean, I'm I'm genuinely excited to share this release with people. We've been working hard on this, and I think we're solving a lot of problems. You guys want to uh, intro anything? I'm no, excited. I mean, good. I'm excited for these new updates. Uh, we've been playing around with it and having it on our, um, call it our beta uh, a server. So I've had a chance to be using this for the last couple of weeks now. And it's just, it, it's definitely made sourcing and going through leads and organizing data just much easier. So I'm excited to get, to get these updates out to folks because I think it's going to, one, it's, it's answering a lot of those feature requests that we've gotten a lot of the like, most common stuff, but also, uh, just really helps step up lead organization into another level. Yeah, man. Grant, what do you think, buddy? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll second what what the both of you said. I think, you know, being on the inside of the project, of course, I'm I'm always excited about what we're checking off the list because of what's behind right. checking those things off the list. So just the progression and seeing things develop and change and um, obviously the stuff we're going to introduce today are just some things that have been important to us in our own business. Uh, you know, for me, I spend most of my time in, in terms of the software on the back end. you know, the stuff that we're not currently working on. Um, so that's kind of where my, my wheels are spinning on, on all the different things we want to do there. But, um, yeah, super excited. I think just the, what we're going to show you guys and the ability to really parse out your data and clean up your, your smart data account, um, so that you're only really seeing stuff you want to see when you want to see it and not seeing stuff you don't want to see um, is really cool. So I'm excited. That's a good tagline. Only seeing the stuff you want to see and nothing that you don't want to see. That's what smart data is. So let's jump in, Taylor. Let's um, let's jump into these updates. I think we've got the first update for the screen. If you click over. All right, three big updates. So this is all driven by you guys. Um, these are things that you've asked for. And uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with smart data, we probably should have had an intro slide to, to Cheddarsoft. Uh, we basically wanted to, uh, two years ago, we set out to eliminate the Google Sheet purgatory that was happening in our industry. And if you're on multiple lead lists, Grant Taylor, you know, if you run any kind of sizable business, you're on three, four, five, six. I mean, we have customers that are on eight, 10 plus lead list. You're getting a sheet a week and trying to copy and paste data into a master sheet and manage your whole, whole business was, is just a nightmare. It's an organizational nightmare. So uh, with Cheddarsoft, we set out to organize your inventory before you even got to Amazon, right from the beginning. And that's kind of been the goal is to simplify and organize your OA business into um, a system that you can manage and grow and scale. And, and that's, that's ultimately our goal here at Cheddarsoft. So smart data is the bread and butter of our system. Uh, Taylor, if you want to click over, let's just get into the, the first big update. We're going to do this in order of simplest to coolest. So the coolest thing is the third thing, okay? So you want to make sure you stay around uh, to the end of this presentation. We're going to do this, um, uh, you know, our plan is to do an hour long presentation. We're going to get to this probably the first half hour. So first one, buy list totals. Taylor, let's click over to the, the platform. Okay. This is okay. the new, what you're looking at here is the new smart data. And uh, Taylor, walk us through, we got this fancy little clicker chart at the top. So you can track a lot of you guys, you know, Taylor, I know you guys have a certain goal for how much you want to be purchasing each day. So walk us through the buy list totals and how you guys are using this thing. 
Yeah, so you're looking, so what you're looking at here is the new version of smart data. This is going to be a, um, this is gonna be very similar to where we had previously with, with the old version, except for a lot more condensed. So you'll see up here in the top, the, the filters and the different ways that you can search. We've compacted all that, so that way it takes up less screen space and it's just more, it's just simpler to use. And then one of the new things we add here is this buy list totals uh, modem. And this is gonna give you an up-to-date look at your buy list while you're in smart data. So as you add leads to this, you'll see those numbers increase. This is great if you're trying to follow a, a certain budget and spend a certain amount, or also if you don't wanna to spend too much that you wanna keep you know, within the, the, the restrictions that you've put on your business. You're able to track that now without having to leave smart data and go over to buy list. And so a way that what that would look like is if I'm just adding an item to my buy list like normal, say I'm adding four units of this product right here, I add it to my buy list. You see that my numbers have changed. It's gonna tell you the number of SKUs you have. So how many specific uh, ASINs or, or, or unique products are in your buy list. It's also gonna tell you the total amount that is in your buy list. Uh, so whatever number of SKUs you have times the quantity and the price uh, that will be uh, represented right there. And then also the total number of units. So that way you can, you can also get that information as well. That information is also gonna live on the buy list as well. So you have it here in smart data. And then if you go to the buy list uh, section of Cheddarsoft, you will see all these stats as well, just making it very easy to take a quick glance at where you're at in your sourcing day. Boom, simple Taylor, look at this. I like it, man. Hey, how many of you guys are tracking a buy list? Do you have a, a certain buy list goal? Taylor, do you, got, do you mind sharing just how, I mean, you, you guys run a sizable operation. What's your buy list and you guys are sourcing for the day? What do you guys usually target? Right now, we've been targeting around 4,000 a month is where we're, we're trying to keep it around. So um, we normally will, that's our goal. Hold on, so now 4,000 4, 4, 4, a day. Sorry, 4, sorry, a sorry day. my bad, 4,000 a day. Okay, I was going to let them 4, finish. I didn't think that was right. 4,000 so a day is what you guys are buying. We try to spend 4,000 a day and then, and really that's our minimum. So if there's enough good stuff that we're finding that goes above 4,000, uh, you know, we'll purchase it. But our, our goal is to, hey, we need to spend $4,000 a day to be able to keep up with, with the amount of sales that we want to produce to, to make sure we're paying for our expenses. Okay, cool. Well, I appreciate the transparency. Uh, so I asked this question, how many of you guys live, do you guys track, is that a number that you track in your business, your, your total buy list? Why do you guys focus? There's a lot of metrics, just real quick, Taylor, and then we'll move on to the next feature. But why is this a, like a main metric for you guys in your, in your purchasing? This is kind of like the main thing you guys track, isn't it? Well, you want to make sure that you're tracking how much you need to purchase and, and to run through your system to, to reach the gross profit amount that you're looking to, to hit every single month. And so Grant figured this out a while back where he, you know, he was able to figure out how much do I need to spend on average per working day to be able to sell this amount per month at this average profit margin so I can expect this type of return every single month. So, so tracking and understanding how, you know, what your buying budget is, is, is very important because if, if you aren't paying attention to it, well, what can eventually happen is you end up spending less than what you needed to, to keep your business running and to make the profit that you're wanting to make every month. And then you're essentially playing catch up. You're, you're going to have to try catching up to those numbers. So having a good understanding of, Hey, what does my business need to spend every day based on my average profit margin to reach my goals? So that way you can scale your business in a responsible way, but also hit the goals that you're trying to, to hit. That's, that's cool, man. This, this gives you guys a little preview about the kind of the future of where we're heading with this platform is really helping you to hone in on those. I mean, in any business, it's a KPI, your key performance indicator. So what are the key inputs, the income producing activities you've got to do in your business to drive the output, the profit goals, the revenue goals that you guys have? So we won't deep dive into that, but that gives you a little preview. So this is cool. How many of you guys, <laughs> simple update. Taylor, let's go to number two, because they get better. I think the updates get better. Um, second update, and thank you guys for chat. Okay, this is a simple update is our... <laughs> I'm laughing is, is the back button. Now I'm going to just share the problem that we have here. Then I'll let you share the solution. If you want to click over to the platform, let's say you're in smart data and you're running a search and you're a deep dive and you've set up your ROI, you type in the brand you want, you, you get into your search and say, Taylor's, Taylor's going to check up a, a couple criteria here and you get all your smart data set up the, the way that you want. And you start scrolling through 
pages of leads looking for stuff. And Taylor, let's say that you get down and let's say you get down to page two and you're on page two or page three scrolling through data. There's two things that people wanted to be able to do at this point. One is to be able to remove leads. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but the second thing is we had a little a problem with the system that if you got into, let's say one or two pages deep, and then let's say Taylor, you wanted to you know, click over and look at your buy list or your orders to check on something. Okay, so just click on anything else. The problem in the system is if you were to try and go back to smart data, um, it would start the whole search all over again. And it wouldn't, it, it, you'd have to literally, I mean, it was a very frustrating um, kind of bug in the system where you would have to go through and reset up your criteria and everything else. So Taylor, what's, what's our new buy list or back button update? All right. So like Gabe was saying, you're doing your searching, you're on page two or three, you're going through throughout your day and you, you need to answer a question about an order. And so you hop over to the orders page. When you did that, and then you came back to smart data, you would have to reset up your search from the beginning. Now, if you go back into your smart data page from anywhere in the, in the app, it will take you back not only to where you last left off on the page, but also keeping just the same search filters that you had set up originally. So you can see here that I looked up Ni uh, Nike over the last 90 days, and then it's organized it by supplier from A to Z, and I was on my second page. So when I hit the back button, I have my Nike keyword, I have my date range for the last 90 days, and then my supplier is sort from A to Z still. So I can keep going where I last left off and, and not have to reset up my search filters. Now this will, I will, this will stay on. So if at the end of the day, uh, you know, you have a certain search criteria set up, the next morning, that same search criteria will still be saved. So if you wanna reset your day and start fresh, you just need to make sure you hit this reset button, which will then reset your search filters uh, back to default, and then you can start your searches over. Uh, there's another part that's gonna come later on down the road with teams that, that uh, you know, I, are, I'm excited to kind of talk about, but um, maybe we'll just wait until we get our teams, uh, the teams portion added to Chattersoft before we, we talk about the fun stuff. More foreshadowing. We probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> we we got this like ongoing project development stuff. So cool. So our back button works. Okay, simple thing. How many of you guys are pumped about being able to go back to a safe search? Type in type in uh, yes in the chat if you're excited about this or if you guys like it. Um, Taylor, you said something. Um, so this will stay saved. If I sign out, will it reset if I sign out of the platform and sign back in, or is it just or is it once a day, or does it never? never reset. It should stay the same. So if, even if you log out and you log back in, whatever your last safe search was, it will, it will pay, take you back to that search uh, result. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Small little detail, guys. Um, I didn't realize how, how much goes in with software development. Uh, I mean, there's a, so many little things and little bugs that we fix and address before they come, but this was like a big one that came up and, um, our dev team did, did a great job. So cool, small update, cool. Well, Taylor, I'm probably most excited about our third update. I don't wanna like, I mean, th these, are all, these are all great updates, but this third one is really, in, in my humble opinion, is a game changer. And you've already pulled it up on the screen. So this is our brand new tags feature. I guess there's no, no reason to like hold, hold back what this is. This is something that's been requested from the beginning. Uh, you guys asked for a way to be able to exclude certain leads, either because the brand is blacklisted or you're gated in a category, or it, for some reason it doesn't meet your criteria. So you wanted a tagging system where you could add leads to tags, where you guys could organize your lead data however you want, totally customize it. And two, how do I exclude leads from my database? So if a certain brand you know, is, has IP complaints or whatever reason you don't want to source a brand or a source, you can now blacklist that. And so really, Grant, you said this well at the beginning, this makes um, all of your lead database, the value that you have with having all of your leads imported in Cheddarsoft, your leads truly your way. You can truly yeah. custom, and this was the vision for, for smart data from the beginning. So uh, you guys excited to see this? I need to get some feedback and, and chat here. Uh, type in uh, demo if you guys are ready to see these, this feature live, because this has been requested here. And uh, demo, here we go. Cool. Demo, demo, demo. How many- I'll participate. Uh, you'll participate. <laughs> um, let's jump in, Taylor. <laughs> let's just go through this, man. 
All right. So yes, this is by far the biggest part of this new update of smart data, which is the tagging system. And we had feature requests, two different ways of, uh, or two different types of feature requests. We had folks who are asking us, hey, I want to be able to, to exclude leads from my search results. And then we also had folks who were asking, hey, I want to be able to way to add notes or put some type of feedback on my leads. And so this is our attempt to, to, to bring best of both worlds into one single to easy to use system. And that's going to be tags. So you can see right now, I have a few tags attached to some leads on, on my smart data page right here. And you'll see underneath each one of the titles, there'll, there'll be a button that says add tags. This same button is also lives over on the right hand side under your actions uh, buttons where you can change tags or add tags. Also, they also are a drop down on the, uh, in your search filters. So you can see all the tags that you have created and you can select and deselect certain, certain tags. So if you're going through and you're finding a product like uh, this product, for example, I wanted to add a Q4 tag to it and you'll see that Q4 tag uh, pull up. But also this is a health and beauty product. And maybe I want to throw a health and beauty tag on this product because it is a, a category that I, I enjoy selling from and I wanna organize it that way. I can come over here to my add, my, uh, add tags button and you'll have the tags that, are, that you've already created. And if you just start typing in that name, I can, there we go. So I add, I add that name, health and beauty. The system's gonna realize that you don't have that tag in, uh, in existence and it's gonna ask you if you wanna create that tag. Uh, I can select the color that I want that tag to be. And then once I have my name and everything looks good, I hit save and close, and it will then create that tag and add it to the lead. Uh, and you're gonna have to give this just a little bit of time. Uh, right now, we, we after we pushed this update over yesterday, we, we realized that we had to do some tweaking. So our team's working on making this a little bit faster, but you can see here that health and beauty is now attached to this product. Likewise, if I'm going through and I say, say I really like this lead, I, I bought it, I sold it, uh, and I wanna continue to sell it and keep purchasing it, I can add in a tag, something like maybe super lead, or I can add my favorites tag to it and simply click it and then move on to my next lead. Now this, this product will, will stay tagged with your personalized tag forever. And you can search and sort by those tags, you can exclude. And so you'll see right down here, I have my, this uh, lead that has a restricted tag on it. This is, the, this is an item that I can't purchase and I can't sell. And so I don't want these to be showing in my results. What I would simply do is when I start my search, I'd come here to my tags and I would deselect the restricted tag, basically saying, don't show me anything that has this restricted or blacklisted tag uh, in my results. And when I update my filters and let it run through and do the search, you will see that this lead will fall off of my results and will no longer uh, be visible. And, and you can see that right there that this tag has now been removed. This product has, has now fallen off of my results. So this is great if you are trying to, you know, you'll, you see here, you can get pretty creative. You can add up to 20 tags as of right now. Um, if, you, if you run into a limit and you're like, hey, I need, to, I need to see more tags, reach out to us and let us know. Um, but as of right now, uh, we are, we're limiting it to 20. So you can get pretty creative with this. If you want to have Q4 tags, if you want to have certain brands, say that, say you're really big into Disney and, and you sell a lot of Disney products, you can add a Disney tag, uh, onto a lead along with a Q4, along with a toys tag. Um, so that way you're, you're, you're taking your leads and you're putting leads in different buckets that you can tap into at a later date when the, when, whether it's for seasons. So say, say you have a summer item and, and you want to put a summer tag to it. So, so come around this time of the year, you want to start purchasing those leads. Uh, you can go in the future, you can do your search, look at all the products that you've tagged previously as a summer item. And now you have just a really powerful buy list that's going to help you or a list of leads that, that, that can help you moving into a certain season or certain holidays. Um, so I, you can make this all your own. It's all... Uh, it's all, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank on the word, um, <clears throat> customizable for your business. You just come in and you can create whatever tag you want and then just attach it to a lead.
tags, man, yeah. your leads your way. That's, that's becoming the thing. There's another, uh, Taylor, this is a big deal, man. That exclude, we had that question asked a variety of different ways from users. We've got this feedback uh, feature. Taylor, click on the feedback button on the right real quick, because this is where we get our feature requests from. And that's kind of one of the perks to being an early user of the system. Uh, we see all these. One of the biggest suggestive feature idea that we had was how do I remove leads? So that, you know, be able to remove it. There's one other thing that there's a couple, there's a bunch of other updates. These are the three big updates that came with this. Taylor, go ahead and click on that compact view, if you would, because our, our whole interface of, of Smart Data V2 really all got cleaned up. And part of our goal with this is to get more data on the screen for so it looks more like what you're used to with the Google Sheets. And uh, there's still some little things that we're going to tweak and edit on this page. We're still trying to figure out how to hide, you know, how to hide the row at the top and do some things. But this compact view allows you to see uh, as much of your data in one place. You can see your tags now. You can sort. And really, the goal with all this stuff, guys, is to get you get our whole industry. This is like a we want to get the industry off of doing data management and into doing what makes you money as an as an OA buyer, which is buying profitable OA inventory and feed it, getting it into your system. So we want to take all the sifting and the sorting, the copying, the pasting, just all the nonsense that's happening out there in our industry and Google Sheets. Um, I say nonsense because it's just a it's just a waste of time if you're an entrepreneur. You know, you're doing you know, $2 an hour, $5 an hour data management work when you could be focusing on $100 an hour, $1,000 an hour sourcing habits. And that's what we want to tr train you guys on doing. So think of Chattersoft like your, you know, own personal VA team that's getting everything just nice, nice and neat on your table each morning so that you can do your sourcing. So um, how many of you guys, let me take a pause. These are three big updates. How many of you guys are pumped for tax? Which of these three features do you guys, um, <laughs> tickles your fancy the most? <laughs> Is it? Uh, I'm just curious. Tag says Lisa. I'm just trying, trying to use some funny words. You guys like tag? We fixed the back button. That's not too sexy, but it's important. Um, yeah, I think tags is our biggest, biggest release with this. Um, cool. You guys are pumped. Uh, how many of you guys are, are? I'm also curious. How many of you guys are currently Cheddarsoft subscribers and how many of you are not? Uh, just type a yes or no in chat if you are currently a Cheddarsoft subscriber or if you are not. And it's okay to, to be a nod. I'm just curious. We, we talk a lot of smack about Google Sheets, but um, I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, most likely probably are. Um, cool. Most of you guys are. Here's a couple no's. Okay, cool. Um, well, Taylor, let's do this. Let's go into answering some questions now. If you want to go back to the presentation real quick to that last slide, we'll, we'll put a bow tie up on our three releases. And yeah, we'll definitely. What, one last quick, and this is a small little update, but I think it's important because I know folks will have asked for this as well. You now have the ability to, add, to, to select all and deselect all your lead lists. So you don't have to click on each single lead list to exclude it or include it. You can now quickly highlight everything or not. I uh, just want to bring that to everyone's attention because I know that for some folks that was important. Um, yeah. Very cool. Well, let's do this. Let's go back and let's put a, I promise, man, I promised 30 minutes for this demo. I'm at 24, dude. I mean, we're just, we're hitting, we're just hitting it. Um, uh, we'll, we'll take five, let's wrap this up. Let's take five minutes or just a couple minutes to wrap up this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hang out. We'll end the presentation and then we will hang out and answer some questions, maybe do some, some group coaching on how to, how to best use the software and really get your time back. So stick around for that, especially if you're already a subscriber. Uh, for those of you guys that are not a, a Cheddarsoft subscriber yet, uh, I want to offer you a free 30-day trial to Cheddarsoft. This is a, a limited time offer. So go to software.ohcheddar.com. You can get a free account today. Uh, use it for a full 30 days. So let's take you to our, our fancy sales page and uh, use it and uh, change your habits. We've got tutorial videos that can walk you through each phase of the business, um, each phase of the software. And we've got a private Facebook group where um, Cheddarsoft subscribers can interact with us personally because we believe that uh, you're going to help us to build uh, you know really what's what's becoming an industry staple tool so grant anything you want to you've let me and taylor do most of the presenting today before we conclude the recording anything you want to um say in closing no i mean i think you you made a real point that you know uh yeah we do kind of down knock on google sheets a little bit and uh what was the word you used if you're if you're still using google sheets it's it's nonsense right it's and nonsense. I think, I think you're, you're right. Forward. Like it, it, and it wasn't always right Bef before there was, you know, cheddar soft Google sheets were the best option, right? Using sheets to manage your data was the best option. 
What we're showing you is a better way. We're using it personally. We've been doing data management on a scale, guys, that most of you are not familiar with because you're not selling a lead list, you know, 10, 11, 12 different lead lists at a given time. So we do a lot of data management, like on probably 10x any, any average or, or multi-million dollar Amazon seller. Um, and so that's where a lot of this is coming from is how do we make our, our big data management operation even more and more efficient? And then we're passing that on along to you guys. And so, yeah, I think at this point, knowing that Cheddarsoft exists, using it personally, I would say, I think there's conviction in my heart saying, yeah, it's nonsense to continue to use Google Sheets exclusively for online arbitrage data management. So um, really proud of what, we, what we're doing here. Really proud of the dev team. Taylor, you're doing a great job. Um, and this is, this is awesome. I mean, I think just the ability uh, to go in and, 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 and parse out your data. I mean, it's, it's the, the equivalent in a Google Sheet would be to color code every single lead, somehow have that in your mind of how you know, have a table of colors and color code leads based on certain tagging that you would want it to have, or you're going to have to, you know, copy and paste data into separate sheets or separate tabs on a sheet and say, okay, well, here's my Christmas stuff. With this, it's just, you know, click a button and add it. Right. And then, and then very quickly, you cannot, and, and even then when you're having a Google sheet, it's like, well, how many different ways can I narrow down data searches? Right. Cause you might be looking at, you know, let's say you have a, a, uh, a Christmas, you know, item list or Christmas toys list or a Christmas candy list or whatever, but you want to narrow that down to a specific supplier. Well, now you can do that. Show me all my Christmas candy from Walmart. Right. Or show me all my Christmas. Cause I know that I can, you know, or from target because targets currently got a discount on candy. Right, stuff like that. So again, it, just using this system on a database, database, day-to-day -day basis, like yeah, it'll make a difference right away. It's really the long ball, though. If you're if you play this game, if you play the the Cheddar Soft, you know, game for six months, it's going to start to evolve into something that it could only evolve into if because you're using it, right? And so um, I think it's important to realize, like when you come into this system. One, it's gonna it's gonna have an immediate positive impact. Yes, you're gonna have to adjust your 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 processes and the way you you manage data. It'll only get easier. That's the fun part. But then again, as it builds on itself, you are going to have a very very laser focused, very dialed in system for inventory. And this is how you're going to start to replenish and start getting away from you know all of us here. A lot of us are lead list subscribers. We buy from lead list. We're trying to navigate you know zig while everyone else is zagging. Right. And so that's what we're, we're encouraging you to do is to, to, to dial in your data, dial in your data management so that you can be buying stuff when other people aren't buying it, as opposed to buying it all the stuff only fresh. Right. So um, I think right now we've got a really good solution for that. And, and so many more things on the, uh, you know, on the back burner, or not even on the back burner. We got what, you know, half a dozen projects that are in, in works right now to continue to make this software even better. So thank you guys for attending the call. Well, well said, man. Well, well said. Um, yes, thank you. And we'll wrap this up because we've got, we'll wrap up the recordings. So we have a real clean 30 minute recording. So uh, thank you to our dev team and to Taylor. There's a lot of people behind the scenes. I won't mention names publicly, but um, type in a, a smiley face in chat or, or a thank you for the dev team. If you guys like these updates, um, if you want to grab that free 30 day trial and um, we'll see you in the software. Bye everyone. <laughs>